Hey everybody, today I'm going to be doing a, a quick overview um, of the Horn Hunter full curl frame. Um, I actually have the, the full curl system here, but I'm mostly going to be focusing on the frame because that's where um, I feel like the importance should lie. Um, I will go over the bags, but just briefly. So, hope you guys enjoy and uh, Please, if you have any questions, feel free to comment below, and I'll, I'll be uh, happy to answer anything you have. So this is the Horn Hunter full curl frame. Um, so you got your full curl there. You can read that. So this is a pretty cool, versatile pack. Um, it's not as expensive as some of the nicer hunting packs. This is intended for hunting. But it doesn't have to be. You can use it for just, you know, backpacking or anything like that. Um, the reason it's mainly for hunting is because it has uh, kind of a meat shelf down here. I mean, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't have to be for it, but this kind of gives you the ability to carry a bag and then behind your bag, maybe a, a game bag full of an elk quarter or something like that so um, for all purposes we'll just kind of reference hunting in this video for applications anyways um, first thing I'll go over is this is kind of a heavier frame I think it weighed in around five and a half pounds just the frame just all this Crap included buckles, I and mean, it has a lot of buckles, but hunting packs tend to have a lot of buckles, so we're not going to knock it for that. But it is, it is a little bit on the heavier side uh, for hunting bags, um, but it is, it is a pretty nice pack for what you get. Um, so first thing is uh, it has an integrated uh, hydration bladder system. All you have to do if you have your bladder is there's a, a kind of a pocket that unzips and there is a kind of like a bag to hold it. And then you just unzip this, drop your bladder in there, and the hose will run up through here and out of this yellow tab and then around wherever. I don't use it, but it's there. Um, if you don't use it, it's kind of nice. You can just tuck it up in there forget about it. Um, it's not too bulky, it's not too heavy, um, so it's there if you need it. Um, and this is the load lifter, or not the load lifter, sorry, the, the shelf for your pack and also anything else that you would like to carry on here. Um, it's pretty adjustable, it goes pretty, pretty wide and it gives you the ability to crank it up once you get your load in there. So, you have pretty, you know, you can fit some pretty wide, heavy things in there. So, um, it's kind of nice. <clears throat> I'll show you for reference. Here. I got like a loaded duffel bag here. Oh, it's pretty heavy. I didn't think about this before just now. <laughs> like even this big bad guy, you know. You can get it in here to where this thing is supporting most of the weight and then you're able to just kind of cinch it down. Well, yeah, so you'd have to work it, but you can get it. This thing's packed way more, uh, you know, bulkier than what you're going to probably be hiking with. So just keep this as a reference. This is a a full-size army duffel bag packed full so um, I wouldn't recommend taking this but if you needed to it would work and if you had a, just an army duffel bag that wasn't packed full it would definitely fit in there perfect so it's kind of cool the ability to uh, hold a lot of stuff in there um, so I'll tighten that up another thing about this system is these flaps here so the flaps themselves look kind of 
silly, I thought, when I first got it. I was like, well, that's cool, I guess, but I don't really like how they just kind of hang out there. But that's just if you're not, you know, packing anything. So when you're actually using this, they'll be cinched down, you know, kind of like this, around whatever pack you have in there. And these have a really, really, really um, wide, you can fit a lot of stuff in there and then really cinch it down around it. And that's not even as wide as it goes. It goes pretty wide. So there's three of those buckles that, that kind of hold everything together. But in these flaps are some really cool pockets um, that are really useful for hunting applications. Um, because in here lives a big, another big pocket, right? So you have this pocket, and then out of that pocket comes a bigger pocket. So it's kind of cool. Um, and then you even have, if you wanted to, you could put something in, in here underneath this. So there's still this tiny, smaller pocket, and then above it there's some space too. If you wanted to shove some stuff in there, you could. But mainly you want to use these pockets for like a spotting scope or tripod. And I have, this is a full size Vortex Pro GT tripod. And it fits in there pretty good. You know, there's, it comes, it comes up about to the top of the pack. But once you cinch it all down, it stays in there really tight. Um, when you're loading it, you'll notice it kind of is floppy and kind of hard to control. But once you get your bag in there and you start cinching this down, it's going to cinch up real nice and you don't have to worry about it coming out or being, you know, unsecure from the bottom. That's what's nice about these because they you, you don't have to worry about it falling out, like slipping out of the, the straps or anything like that. Um, and I also have a... Uh, Spotting scope here. Oops. So this side over here is the same exact thing. It's got a zipper and a big pocket. And this is a 65 millimeter spotting scope. This fits in here great. Uh, I got a buddy that's got the 85 um, same spotting scope, and it fits. About the same, um, you see how much extra room is in this here, so um, you'd have a lot of room in here for 85 if that's what you're packing. And then, like I say, you don't have to worry about this falling out. It's protected from, you know, the outside. It's not just sitting out here getting all scratched up by the trees and whatever. Um, so that's kind of nice. <clears throat> Um, tuck these back in. And then on the outside of these flaps is another pocket. And these pockets are great for carrying your gloves or your, you know, beanie, anything you need to get to kind of quick because they're sitting right there on the outside of your pack and they're real easy to zip up and down and get to. Um, doesn't go all the way either, so you don't have to worry about stuff falling out when you open it it won't let you go all the way around which is kind of nice um, and then this side has the same exact thing so that's a really cool I like the wing system I didn't at first when I first saw it but I, I like it a lot now after using it um, <clears throat> so that's the frame it also has um, the load lifter straps here at the top so that's kind of a nice feature um, that helps you kind of you know lift the weight up more on your shoulders it also has a nice handle here for if you want to just carry it like this it hasn't broken yet it's sewn on pretty good right here at the top of the frame um, so that's kind of nice it's got a uh, chest belt kind of goes across your chest and allows you to adjust. Um, it's got a nice little adjustable 
thing right here for the the shoulder straps you can either go lower or higher depending on your your height your build it's got some pretty good cushioning uh, for your lower back and for your hips and then even for the the sides of your your back so it's not the best foam padding but it works pretty good I've done about 60 or 70 miles with this thing on my back with at least 30 to 40 pounds um, sometimes a little bit more like 50 or 60 and I haven't had any issues where they're like really really hurting me you know if it's hot and sweaty my back does get hot and sweaty but I don't know if the pack is gonna you know prevent that from happening regardless of what they claim um, especially if you're hiking in Texas like I do or if you're just hauling a lot of a lot of stuff and uh, it's not as cool as it should be outside you know so this is a pretty nice pack um, I'll show you how it kind of goes on sorry guys I'm gonna have to adjust this camera here so this is empty but this is about how I wear it. Um, if you are, you know, trying to get your shoulder straps, you know, set to how you want them, I'd recommend loading it up with about 40 pounds of, of gear because right now it's it's sitting a little high on me, and with the gear, you know, it'll kind of sit down. So um, it's a nice pack. I like how the waist belt adjusts. It's a pull in kind of method so it's kind of easier than if you were to pull out I guess um, it does seem a lot easier than some other packs that I've used it does have some cool pockets on the side of the belt it's got a really little one in here in the front it's good for like a lighter I don't know cigarettes if you have that uh, bullets, whatever it is. Then right here is a, a medium size pocket. Um, you can put whatever you want in here, range finder, stuff like that. And then this big one. I like to put my, uh, I carry a Nalgene bottle and it fits right in there pretty good. Actually, I think I have one. Yeah. It's just, it's kind of hard to get to, but if you have it on, it, that's not too bad. Uh, I need to I need to get some sort of holster for this thing because but it fits in there pretty good. And if you're hiking around, it's not it's not terribly hard to get to, depending on what else you have on. If you have a rifle here or whatnot, but it it fits in there pretty good. Now the one thing about that is if you are carrying it like this, you're kind of kind of squish some of the stuff you have in here. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, overall, this is a great, great frame. I've been very happy with it. Um, it holds up in the weather pretty good. Um, the stuff that I keep in here, you know, it wasn't pouring down rain, but it was raining and stuff stayed pretty dry. Um, like I said, uh, I don't know if I said this, but I, I purchased the full curl system, not just the frame. So I also got, there's a large bag and a medium sized bag and uh, looking back on it I probably wouldn't do that again I'd probably just buy the frame and I'll give you the reasons why first off is the full curl system comes with this little bag this little bag weighs about half the weight of this frame I think it's just all the straps all the buckles all the BS that you don't really need this bag was kind of intended for, you know, your day hunters, um, and it's not a bad bag. It's just kind of heavy for for how much it's going to carry. Um, it has a lot of straps, a lot of straps. It has a a gun sling carrying thing, and it's got some some uh, loops up here to hold the rest of your rifle, which. If you carry it like that, that's fine. I'm not into that, so I uh, just tend to carry it on a sling just so I have it 
you know, kind of at the ready if I need to. Um, inside, it's just got a few pockets, organizing, organizing pockets, and I mean, it's a nice bag. It also converts into its own bag, you know, like its own backpack bag. Back here, there's a zipper, and out come two cheap, just straps. So it's not a very nice backpack if that's what you're thinking, but it will work if you need to just use this. So this bag comes with this frame if you buy the, the system or I think if you buy the combo. So I'll set that aside. The thing I, I do like about the system is it comes with the big bag. The big bag is actually pretty lightweight, but feels pretty durable. Um, it's kind of a, it's a pretty functional bag. It has some compartments and some, some access zippers that make it, uh, you know, I like it. Um, starting with the, the bottom compartment, it's separate from the, the rest of the bag, kind of. There's, there's some ways to get through it, but I like to put like my sleeping bag or my sleeping pad, stuff like that down in here. That way it's it's kind of easy to get to and I don't have to dig to the bottom of my bag because I like to keep that stuff at the bottom of my bag but it's nice to have this separate compartment for it um, when you're trying to get to it. And it has a lid like most packs and then the lid is a pocket so you can put stuff like it's real easy to get to, like a map and a compass or whatever, gloves, hat, stuff like that. And then you got your main pack, which is pretty big. I think this is a 90 liter pack. I think that's what I read. And it holds quite a bit of stuff. You can fit, you know, five, six days worth of stuff in here. Um, and the nice thing about this bag is there's a side access, right? So, you, let's say you put your rain jacket in there and you're like, ah, it's not going to rain today. And it starts raining. Well, this is where this comes in handy. Because you just reach in here, feel around, grab it, pull it out, close it back up. So that's a really nice feature. Um, not a lot of bags do that. But you can get away without buying this bag. This bag's kind of pricey, I think. I think it was like 60 bucks, right? So... I don't know, does it feel like 60 bucks for the bag? Probably not. But it's nice. I'm not gonna say it's not. But what you could probably do is just buy a $10 dry bag from Walmart. I think this is a 40 or 50 gallon dry bag. Shove all your crap in there, roll it up. Fits right in here just the same way. You ain't gotta worry about it. getting wet, you ain't gotta worry about nothing. So, Keep that in mind when you're making your purchase. Um, here, actually, I'll fill this with air and I'll kind of show you how it show you how it all fits in here. And if you want, you could shove this down in that bag, but then you lose the uh, ability for the side pocket, obviously. I use this bag a lot for kayak trips, so it works pretty well. This little dry bag here. So that will just kind of just cinch up in there. And then these come around. Like I said, you got tons of play with these straps right here. These straps go for days. Just kind of cinch them down. Lots of straps. <laughs> So there's those three. That kind of holds everything together. Um, you can roll these up and there's Velcro on the ends. It's kind of nice but it's kind of annoying sometimes because this Velcro gets stuck with these other Velcros. Um, so I'm almost thinking about removing it but uh, I haven't yet. So you just kind of roll them up and kind of store them away. 
And once you once you get it for a load that you're carrying all the time, you you know you already kind of have it like that. So it's kind of a nice bag. I like it a lot. Um, like I said, I don't know if I if I was purchasing it again, I probably wouldn't buy the whole system. I would probably just buy the bag. Oh, another thing about the bag: if you do go with the whole system. We buy this big bag. In the other videos I've seen, um, the way you attach it, you have to take these straps off because the bag has it's basically the width of this frame. But it looks like they've maybe, I don't know if they've improved it, but they've definitely changed it to where you just kind of slide it over and there's a piece of Velcro right here, a piece of Velcro right here, and they just kind of marry together. And then this just kind of sits up, doesn't even have to come off. So I don't know if that's an improvement because I, I feel like it's kind of in the way, but it works. Um, I tried taking these off and coming around the other way, but it just doesn't seem right. Like this seems like the way that it was intended to be. So. It's a nice bag. If you buy the bag, the actual, you know, six, seven day trip bag, it does buckle into the frame. So there are some buckles that go into the frame and you can cinch it down a little bit, but I mean, you don't really need them. They're not gonna, they're not gonna hold the bag any better than the, you know, the three straps that come around, right? So. Keep that in mind. Overall though, for the price, this bag's pretty decent. Um, it's right in your, your mid-section pricing. Um, I think for this whole system, I spent around $250 um, on Optics Planet. And that was with some coupon codes or a coupon code and I think they were on it was on some sort of sale too so you can find them for around that price um, Amazon I think has them a little bit more but if you do some some you know just some shopping around you'll usually find a good deal on these so 250 for a nice hunting pack is not too bad especially when you can spend you know five six hundred dollars on some that are comparable so I hope this was informative and I hope this helps you guys in making a uh, buying decision. Uh, if you have any further questions, I can uh, feel free to answer them in the comments if you comment below. And uh, thanks for watching guys.